So here's a new mock I made. Let me show you some of the techniques and details used within this build, as well as some of the inspiration behind it too. Let's dive in. So with this elven city, I wanted to try and not use any shade of green in the color palette of this mock, because I use it all the time, and it's just way more fun to play with autumn leaves and other colors. Plus the brighter colors kind of tie in with the overall idea and story of this mock, which I'll touch upon in a second here. Now, the name of this mock is Temptation. And the reason behind that is because I wanted this mock to tell a bit of a larger story. It was inspired by an overall idea that kind of relates back to a singular quote. And that quote is, In the angel city will you still be tempted by the devil. So the ideas are kind of encapsulated here with the demon that's on the bridge, as well as this elven lady who's kind of reaching out her hand and possibly giving in to temptation. Oh, and you might be like, that hand doesn't look official. It's technically not. It's a third-party brick uh, from a company called Crazy Bricks, and they make arms and legs and things that go out in weird and crazy directions and things like that. It's a really cool company. It's a really cool piece as well. So uh, yeah, it was a nice finishing touch to kind of really help convey that story there. But yeah, I just love the visual imagery of a very bright and visually beautiful landscape that kind of contrasts with this inky black of this evil demon. And throughout this build, it was really fun to focus on design elements like color and differences in textures and things like that to really draw out the themes and the ideas of this quote. And since we're talking about differences in texture, I decided to use this cape piece that came from a few different Bionicle sets to make up the design of the demon. I deliberately used cloth pieces because I thought it had this nice, interesting, almost like tattered look to it. And I think it uh, has a nice kind of juxtaposition with the very sleek, elegant, white elven architecture. And, you know, ties back to that quote. So I used three of these cape pieces and simply wrapped them around a very basic CCBS body and arms and then made sure that they stayed on with rubber bands. Now, thankfully, I just had three of these capes because I bought the sets that they came in, and this only came in three sets, which was Vizon and Fenrak, Karzani, and also the Cardus Dragon Combiner set, and yeah, I'm really glad that I bought these when they came out, because if you want this cape now, it's super expensive on Bricklink for some reason. It's just a random piece of cloth, but that's what it's worth, so... Just, I don't know, go out and get some random piece of cloth yourself. Don't go, don't go spend 30 to $50 on one piece. Anyway... When building this elven city, I wanted to play with new ways of designing rock work. In recent castle mocks that I've made, I tend to build rocks with your simple sort of brick on top of brick methods. And this is really fun. I think it looks nice. I've always enjoyed doing it. But I wanted to experiment with just more unique techniques that I haven't done before. So I experimented with different snot techniques. So I used brackets and other modified bricks with studs on their sides, your typical snot bricks, to build with studs so that they're not on top. And it allowed for some pretty nice smooth curved looking rocks as you can see here. And again, I felt that this contrasted with the tattered look of the demon because it's smooth, it all, it's a symbiotic circle, it all comes together. And also, this is really fun rock work to do, and I'm most likely going to be doing it again. It was very enjoyable. So I actually had to transport this mock from Perth to Melbourne, which was a pretty long flight, uh, so that I could display it at Brick Vention, uh, Convention over in Melbourne. So let me show you some of the modules broken down so you can get a nice look at the rainbow underneath details of some of the modules, as well as take a peek at how some of this rock work was handled and how it was made. So as you can see here, here's some of these specific snot bricks. Now these are kind of built in a little bit, and then I branch off, and then I transition into some of those curved slopes. It's actually a pretty simple technique in that sense, but you know, it took a lot of finessing to get all the snot rock work to line up nicely and have that sort of smooth natural curvature to it. Uh, so while it's simple, it's not necessarily a walk in the park. You know, it takes a lot of trial and error and just, you know, spending hours looking at it to make sure it looks good and all that sort of stuff. But hey, it's fun to do. Now, the build itself was inspired by a few different things. Normally, before I start building, I create a folder on my computer of images that relate to the vision of the build that I have. Now, these images can be Lego-related imagery or, like, concept art or even just kind of, like, color schemes or interesting patterns, really just whatever I need to kind of flesh out the mood or idea, but also just stuff that I can look at that just helps inspire me to build. So, obviously, big inspiration for this mark was Rivendell from Lord of the Rings but I wanted it to deliberately not look exactly like that. So I kind of tried to stay away from a lot of imagery of Rivendell, even though, yeah, it was always at the back of my mind. But yeah, by deliberately not looking at it, I was able to hopefully differentiate it in some way. So here's a variety of other images that directly inspired this mock. So a lot of imagery was very helpful to kind of figure out the style of elven architecture. It's cool to study the shapes, the kind of form of everything. 
uh, as well as, you know, how things end, the sort of interesting ornate details that it might have, all that sort of stuff. This specific image, which I found most of these on Google, so I don't know the original artists, but if I find them, I'll be sure to put their names in the description below. Uh, but yeah, this image inspired the staircase around one of the larger towers here and actually kind of gave me the, the rough sort of shape and idea of that tower itself. But of course, I ended up kind of heavily deviating from this image when I actually started to build. Uh, and that was very similar with this next image as well. Uh, you can see this specific tower. I kind of ignored the rest of it. It was just this tower here that gave me the rough design for some of the other smaller towers scattered across this mark. You know, stuff like the domed roof and the way that the bottom area there looks was a big inspiration. And, and typically a lot of these images, they're, they're kind of just giving me broader strokes. They kind of inform elements of the design, but I make sure to really sort of add my own personal touches and deviate as much as I can. Because not only is that more fun, but it makes it more, I don't know, unique and more me. You know what I mean? I don't want to just blatantly copy what someone else has done. I want to add my own personal touches to it. Way more fun that way. That said, I think the single biggest influence on this mark would be uh, this mark here by Rangel, uh, which is called Lavender Dream. Now, this really kind of piqued my interest, and I saw this and then went, okay, I'm going to start building a mock within the vein of this. This was the biggest sort of impetus to building this mock. Rangel actually has a, a lot of tutorials on his Instagram as well. I've got a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, some of those inform this mock, specifically some of the window designs here. But again, I tried to deviate from them a little bit, more so in uh, some of the connection points uh, and uh, some of the sizing as well. I, I, I sort of deviated in that regard there. But yeah, Rangel's an incredible builder and just the overall atmosphere of this is so unique and just so pretty. Uh, so I thought, hey, it'd be really cool to build a, an elven city that's similar to this. And you know, maybe instead of purple leaves, maybe I can have yellow leaves instead. And I won't have it be so heavy with water. I'll, I'll do something a bit different with the landscape. But uh, yeah, the sort of mood of this, I guess, was a big influence. So thank you, sir, for some really good ideas. You're a fantastic builder. Definitely check out his stuff, guys. He's super good at what he does. And look, I mean, there's a lot of other details and techniques and things that I put on this mark. I mean, I've got the waterfall design. Uh, I sprinkled a bunch of those flowers around so it looks like, you know, the autumn leaves are falling on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, I even had some of the little koi fish tiles in the water there, which uh, those came in that Spring Lantern Festival set. They're such a fun piece. And then I've also got a few other interesting details on, like, the bookshelves and things that you can see just inside some of the elven towers as well. I thought it was a fun idea that some of the inhabitants of this... Uh, little sort of tiny city town here would uh, be you know into reading and knowledge and literature and all that sort of stuff it seemed very appropriate and fitting so yeah it's, it's fun when I build these sorts of mocks to really kind of uh, come up with a whole sort of like lore and story for it it's, it's not like I have pages of lore or novels written or anything but you know as you build ideas and stories start to just sort of come out uh, and it's fun to to kind of imagine that as you build so it's nice to kind of play off of that and put little details like that into the build as you go so yeah that's this mock i'm very happy with how it turned out and it was great to be able to have it on display at brickvention 2023 as well hopefully you enjoyed seeing this and learning a little bit about the process behind building it thank you very much for watching i hope you very much enjoyed happy building and bye for now